guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for to episodes 23 and 24 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's kind of get started on episode 23 and 3, 2, 1, go. This took forever to freaking do. I was about to freaking watch this, and my stupid computer was like, ah. Because <laughs> I couldn't watch this a couple of days ago, because I've been extremely busy with shit. Road trip? I mean, it's a really bad time to say that, but hey. Yeah, he is right. Hi, Sai. But wait, Sai is going with you? Hmm? They got their own trailer too? Excuse Yeah. But, I, I, I mean, yes, like, because the dragon spots have something to possibly do with her. Also, is Susie going to make another fan? Because, ooh, she, like I said, let's go, bitch, let's go! <laughs> Just a girl talk. <laughs> of course. This is literally just going to be a road trip arc. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah, he's like, like an adorable little family. <laughs> no, Maida, it's okay. <laughs> They'll be fine. I think, honestly, they need this. Not only to know what the hell is going on, and especially what it possibly has to do with Psy, but I think for their relationship. Since they now look like a family with Psy, I mean, a couple of fucking teenagers with a child already. What the hell is this show? I mean, this um, mm, God, it, it ain't no teen mom-ish, but that was kind of what I was thinking of. But it is like, you know, the former teen parents at a young age and stuff. But they do look good together. And it's not, there's nothing wrong with that in an anime. But then when you're looking at an IRL, you're like, oh, okay. How is this really going to work out between two people who are still kids and they have a kid? How can you still be a kid when at the same time you have to be a parent and such. And so it seems like we're going to see a more parent type role for these two rather than a um more than a a kiddish role. Maybe they'll still have time to like, you know, be fun and everything, especially with last week's episode of um Rokoro and Sai like taking a bath together cuz of course that's a cute little moment like oh my god. But who knows? Like, I, I really want to see, like, a Bond, you know, a little bit more of Benio. Because Benio got, you know, 
telling the story of Ohagimon. <laughs> And how Sire was just like over here, like talking about Ohage Man. And you're like, ah, yes, I can't even see it. Like, oh my God. That just makes me excited to have kids when I get married, you know, hopefully in the future. Because, I mean, kids are just so fucking adorable. Oh my god. Yeah, don't force her. I mean, damn, Benny. Guy, seriously, the same one who's who voices Kinako? What the hell? Hmm? Oh, well, there's exorcists all over the place as well. But should you leave? So, oh, excuse me. Sorry, as I was trying to say, should they leave Sai in the car, though? Hmm? Hey, your friend is good is, like, gone. I'm sorry, boo-boo. Because they're exorcists, unlike you. I get the fact that, yeah, we needed to send in both Benio and Ryoko, um, and then also Sai, but really, like, it would have been nice to see, like, Maida and everybody else go, but I get, you know, there's now exorcists, like, all over the fucking place, so it doesn't really matter. Is that sound? Oh, that's a car. My bad. I'm thinking this is in the damn anime now, too. Yeah, because it just stopped. Oh. Your voice is familiar. Well, <laughs> yeah. How old are you? Were like in your thirties, maybe forties? Yeah. <laughs> Upon me. Oh my god. Mm. Put 
baby. No, where did she go? Shit! Oh, hug him, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you can't stay mad at her. She's so fucking precious. Like, oh, my God. How can you stay mad at a child when they do something wrong? Like, uh. Maybe. No, wait, broke it off? I mean, you can show off, but you know, at the same time, you need to know your limits. Like, goddamn. This isn't really a competition, though. Oh my god, don't be an asshole, dude! Sorry. Over the mountains? Uh oh. And she's gonna go after it, of course. God damn it, child. Hmm? No! Oh my god. Oh, that's a pile of bodies. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's her. See, the way this arc is going, you know how, like, with the very first, like, half of Fire Force was, and especially if someone got turned into an Inferno, how hard it was for someone, like, any of the Fire Force to go tell 
um, that person's loved one that they had to, you know, execute them. That's what it feels like with this whole thing. And then I don't know why, but I've kind of thought this ever since episode one. The, the cockatite, like, they remind me of hollows. In a way. Kinda, but like, in a, I, I don't know how. I, I think it's just maybe the way he kind of looks right now. But, bruh, like, hmm. Good job. Well, yeah, because do you know who the fuck they are? Oh. Susan? She already given me the Ada Ada vibe. <laughs> Cause you know it, it's gonna happen. She's gonna be like <clears throat> Ada Ada. Uh oh. Oh. But does that stop him? Oh, okay, thank God. Yeah, even though you and I ask, like, still, we don't need a reason to save your life. Apologize later. We don't have time. She is, uh, I gotta say, she a little too fast for these two, but I mean, I, I think Bunny O could keep up. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, but don't worry, your child is coming with an extra one.
what if by the end of this episode, Benny was like, you gonna call me Mama now? Oh my God, so bad. No, he was just a distraction. Seriously, that's it? I thought she would have stayed, like, a bit longer. I mean, her and Suzu, damn. But, of course, we're probably going to see them somewhere else. Oh, hon. Go talk to her. Apologize. There you go. As a child, please, as my own. Oh my god, she's so fucking precious. Like, she needs to be protected from the fucking world. Oh my god, but okay. When she was sitting there with Kinical and pointing over the mountain of where she was born, I'm guessing we're gonna have to see eventually a backstory on that within her memories because something still tells me that she. Maybe, possibly, not 100% sure though, uh, has a little bit of lost memories. Because, yeah, she has no name technically. And I think whenever she does get her memories, um, essentially that's when we'll know her true name, where she's really from, her backstory of what currently happened to her, and maybe why she quote unquote lost her memories, possibly. I don't know. But for an episode like this, it was really good. This was something that needed to be done because <laughs> Sai is pretty much a, a daddy's girl, just like myself. <laughs> um, I'm, well, I'm a little bit of both, but she she has a really better relationship with Rokuro than she does with Benio. And to have an episode like this, or even the Ohagi Man episode, that was just a little, just oh, chipping the wall or the relationship of Sai and Benio and how probably by the end of this arc it's going to be better and I, I think she might end up calling her mama. I'm not really 100% sure it would have been cute and adorable if we got to the end of this and she did call her mama just to be like cutesy and crap but like who knows. Huh? That's got to be something for her memories. Don't know what the fuck that could mean, but that has to be something on her memories. But I, I don't really know. I mean, because, like, literally, she's just this cute, adorable thing that we need to fucking protect from the assholes of the world. <laughs> um, I just hope whatever... <clears throat> excuse me, because I'm about to yawn. I'm trying not to yawn again. Whatever the secret is about her, or whatever is the connection between her and the dragon spots, it is solved soon. I'm guessing... We're probably not going to get this arc done until about episode 30. And then the last 20 something episodes that we'll have is basically going to go back to um, Benio's brother Yuto or her former brother being the main protagonist. Because something tells me he's going to pop up again. Don't know how or don't know when because of course like when he fell his ass was still fucking alive. Like I don't care what you tell me he's still fucking alive. 
but whatever it is we'll hopefully we'll find out soon but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 24. <laughs> okay episode 24 and three two one go i'm sorry you're probably wondering what the hell i'm laughing about i'm talking about something really <laughs> stupid <sighs> talking about cheese pizza and shit <laughs> i'm so dumb Yeah, that's the man. Okay. I mean, he got nine. Oh. oh. You know what? I'm going to take back what I was about to say. <laughs> mm, so you're going to go on it, of course. Because I think if you guys know me, you probably know what I was about to say. But like, oh, because he, I mean, his arms were nice. I mean, you know, as a girl who likes arms on a guy and shit like that. But, you know, your girl, your girl is already trash for, once again, because I don't think a lot of people know this. If you've seen my reaction to the series No Guns Life and um, the main character in No Guns Life who, you know, plays Surian in this series. And I am head over heels in love with him in that show. Um, he is a detective, very nice, good looking body, <laughs> but he has a gun for a head. And I remember like, I was like, what? But, and then I was like, yeah, I'm trash. I was like, this is how I know I am immediate trash right now. Cause I was like, out of all the things that I've could have fallen in love with, he got a nice body, but he got a gun for a head. And people were looking at me like I was nuts and crazy, like, being in love with something like that. They're like, Deja, Deja, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like, but he's cute, and he's sweet, and he's funny, and he's a little shy and stuff. And they're like, but Deja, he has a gun for her head. And I'm like, and? <laughs> I was like, come on, this is the same guy who voices Isola and ringing Archer. Like, come on, I gotta love almost every character he plays. <laughs> I can't with myself. You would think them would be like the twelve guardians. They would be out here doing this shit too. But because of the fact is, is only Twin Star Exorcist business could do this shit. Twelve guardians. We're just gonna sit here and talk. It's got to be something with Psy, because what else would it be? Because that's the big connection. It has to be. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, it is! Oh, shit! What's wrong? Yeah, but a dirt trail though? I mean, y'all couldn't go on a proper road? Welcome to episode two of the family trip. Yeah, what the? Oh my god!
guys, next time, can we just use, like, um, the, the maps or, like, Google Maps or some shit? Oh. Oh, Huggy. Oh, it's so fucking cute. Even though she can't eat them. The amusement park. A little perv. Yeah, but not with mama. Yeah. Well, yeah, but because of what's happened. Two serpent. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, because he, he kind of looked like one, but he, he doesn't have a regular face like the other ones. He has a lion face or just like a beast type face. Mm -mm. Oh shit. Poor baby. Aww. This is why we're supposed to watch our kids. Are you going to be friendly? Mm. Yeah, because she doesn't really know the definition of beautiful. Hmm? Why are you looking for something beautiful? Come here, God. Come here. You go over there. Just to come over here. Here you go, baby. Go play. Huh? Wait! No, he just wants to find something. Oh my god. Like, damn. Poor baby. Because he doesn't want to fight you.
Oh my god, this child. lost her oh my god like beautiful as what the amusement park I mean it makes the most sense since he's currently staying there but if it's not the music park then what would it be Because of the fact that you're here and you're not supposed to be here. But because you're here, you've brought the smoke and everything, and now everything isn't beautiful. It's tarnished, broken, out of commission. Yeah, but I don't think any human adult is going to want to help him. This child is going to make me cry. Oh my god, I can't with her. Even with in the face of danger, in or death. Because he's not going to kill her, no matter what. He just wants to know what the fuck uh, he can find beautiful. But like, oh my god. She's just so precious. <laughs> She's making me even tear up now and I hate that. Oh my god.
Well, clothes are beautiful, but not what you want, right? Y'all do know he's coming back. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I could have got really hurt if she got hit against that. We're gonna wait. We just want to talk to him. God damn it. Look at all your tangible is showing. Like, oh my god, boy. <laughs> but you precious son in that damn series, so no matter what, I love you. <laughs> oh, he's crying. The Ferris wheel move. Mm. I think she'll be okay this time. See, all right, you, you're acting like Diana, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, Little Witch Academia, come on now, like, goddamn, you could have just waited for five minutes! They were just trying to talk to him! They're going to kill him. That's so sad.
The fact that a fucking stuffed bunny can do that? Mm. This was horrible, like, damn. Okay, hold up. Sakura, you also acting like every other character she's also voiced. You acting like a little bit of Tomoe from Bunzity, but not really like a bitchy Tomoe, but you doing it. Even though I, I love Tomoe, because, you know, Tomoe is precious. I know. Honey. No, she was about to cry. Oh, I mean, like, Mr. Lion was kind of her first official friend besides Rokuro and Benio. And to not be able to say goodbye to him is sad. I mean, I wasn't expecting... Sakura and what's her face from the 12 guardians to come and you know take over for an episode but I really thought that this episode was going to end on a good note and think that like they eventually were going to have to execute him or at least you know do the thing with the dragon spot and then have him go away and just be like hey here's a learning lesson for you don't come back because if you do you might die but they were like, fuck it, we're killing them. I, you know, I hope we get to kind of see another episode like this. It was interesting to see Akagare, you know, not be evil, to be nice and sweet. Because I was automatically, like, assuming that there was never a good one out of the bunch. Because every single one that we've met has really done some dark and twisted shit. And to find one who wanted to see something beautiful and in its final moments got to see something beautiful but wanted to see something beautiful with Sai and isn't going to be able to, it's sad, really heartbreaking. Like, oh my god, if, if Sai started crying in this, I would have cried with her and be like, oh my god, precious baby girl, because like I said, she's so fucking cute and I love her so much and she just, uh, <laughs> she just needs to be protected no matter what. So I'm also guessing with the way that this episode is also going and the fact is the Guardians are getting a lot more um, development in this arc. I'm guessing we're going to see, take away the two that we've already seen, the, well now three. So that would be a, the ten, I don't know, the nine that we have left. So yeah, like twelve, eleven, ten. Yeah, the nine that we have left. Um... In, like, the next few episodes, are we going to see them and, like, you know, are, are two of them going to come up in an episode and like that? Because, I mean, yes, um, I don't remember the Seiyu's actress, the Seiyu's name, but Sakura and What's Her Face, they were very interesting. I would have liked to see them a little bit more, but not in the way of them, like, from what we saw in the beginning up to the end of this episode. But this was a really sad episode. Like, oh my god, I wasn't expecting this to go the way that it did but it's just a really sad heartwarming and I, I feel so bad for Sai because Sai really truly wanted a really interesting same thing with the lion they both wanted a really good moment together before he had to say goodbye to her and I truly wish he did because even though Sai has a whole bunch of friends and you know quote unquote her mom and dad um on the road it's different it's completely different so I, I just hope that Number one, you watch over this damn child because I swear to God. <laughs> a family of three, please protect that child and watch her wherever the fuck she goes. I mean, Kinako, yes, is watching her um, mainly most of the time because, of course, you know, Rokuro and Benio can't because they're busy and ish. But, like, just let her be safe. I don't want anything 
to happen to her anymore. Please, that's all I want. I pray to God. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episodes 23 and 24 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 25 and 26. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.